Hey everyone, this is Corey with Casual ADC, and I have a double unboxing for you. I have a uh, something that I ordered and something that I won in a giveaway. Um, they're pretty big. This is a bigger package than I was expecting for the giveaway win. Uh, so we're going to do that one second. Uh, just because it's big, it's going to be in the way. Uh, lighting might be a little bit different. I did rearrange some things on my desk recently so the light used to be more that way now it's slightly off to that side hopefully this is still plenty easy to see uh, unboxing knife today is the bradley moraes knives vector let's get into this let's uh this is a very stiff package um, oh it's one of these i hate these oh god this is gonna make a mess so, yeah, these are the worst. Uh, people who also ordered one of these will also get this packaging, I assume. It's the worst. It's like dryer lint inside of the bag. Anything else in there? Nope, nothing else in there, and I can get this thing off of my desk and into the garbage can. Those kinds of packages belong straight in the trash. But you can see Surge Knife Company, surgeknives.com, and then I'll keep this side down for now. Keep that away. Hopefully, you haven't seen what this is yet. But let's take a look at this together. We have two tools. T8 and a T6 come with it. It's nice. We have a warranty card. Uh, no mods on this, so don't uh, don't mod your knife. And then here it is. This is the Surge Knives EDC. Now, if I can get it out, that'd be great. These are made by Real Steel. Titanium handles, the uh, N690 is the blade steel. These were $200 US. Centering is good. It's definitely thick. It's heavy. These are 5.6 ounces, I believe. So you can see two slabs of titanium for your handles. There's also liners, which I assume are titanium as well. I don't have a magnet handy to check. But I assume everything on here is titanium for the most part, besides from maybe the hardware. Let's, uh, I think, because it's an inset liner lock here, I think it'll be, uh, I think I can flick this out. There we go. Okay. So you can see the design here. Like I said, a little thick. Surge Knife Co. N690. This is number 32. So there were a whopping uh, 200 of these, as I said. Nice early lockup. Ergos are pretty solid, honestly. This, uh, this little area, maybe not perfect for me, but it's not too bad. Honestly, I'm just catching that a little bit. Being down further in the handle with my pointer finger there, it's really comfortable. Uh, there's just enough ramp in the back here to get my finger there, to get my thumb, that is. Yeah, this is nice. It's a uh, it's a little thick behind the edge. It's very ZT esque in terms of its grind. It feels like they put a good edge on it. Let's see how the closing action is. Oh, oh wow, that was better than I thought it was gonna be. Um, let's flick this out. Is there any blade play? There is no blade play, no rock in any way. There's a little Surge Knives logo right above my finger there too. It's a nice way to place to put it. But that drop shut so easy. So these must be on bearings. Um, it looks like plastic cage bearings, maybe. Unless this is running on, unless this is running on Teflon, and is that this smooth with no blade play? Then I assume they are plastic cage bearings. I can see the white in there. This is it's chunky. It's heavy, but it's really nice. Um. I'm impressed with this. This is uh, something I wasn't sure how to feel about, seeing that it was made by Real Steel as the OEM, and seeing the weight, and knowing the general size of this knife being fairly small. 
Um, let me bring in my bug out here so you guys can see this. You can see it's not a huge knife. It's really just, it's almost identical in size to the bug out. I mean, if I put the bug out on top, pivot to pivot, you can, you can really see it's essentially the exact same size. So for being almost six ounces of this size, it's uh, it's honestly, it's heavy, like I said, but it's, it's kind of impressive um, how well it's built and how good it feels. This is likely, um, I can tell you right now that I bought this because a fellow YouTuber, a friend of the channel and friend of mine, uh, Michael from Sharpened Blade, uh, Mike wanted this knife and we uh, we struck a little bit of a deal that if I bought this and didn't like it, he would buy it from me. So this is going to get a full review for you guys. And then I will be selling it to Mike at a discount. Obviously, I'll probably be putting a nice mirror edge on this as well. And 690 sharpens up pretty nicely. So yeah, really, really neat. Um, just heavy. That's the first, first impressions negative is heavy. Heavy and what looks to be a thick grind, but the, the blade stock's not crazy thick. It is does have a swedge in the back, and the grind is definitely thin enough. I mean, to work, it's not it's not like a hinderer or anything like that. It'll be it'll cut better than something like an XM18. So let's put that off to the side and let's use this to open up the giveaway win. Now, while I cut this open here, let's talk about this giveaway because this was a win from uh, Semperfy EDC on Instagram. I will leave his Instagram linked below. Uh, his name is Vince. He is a really good guy. Um, he is running a charity raffle here shortly that I donated uh, my signed by Ben uh, Savivi Baby Banter to. So keep a lookout on that on his Instagram be raising some funds for a good cause and a chance to win some pretty cool stuff so let's take a look at what came in this prize package I got the first pick of prize packages and I chose this but I have no idea or memory of what is in this prize package so let's take a look first thing we got is a big Hank it's a Hank by Z Hanks it's got John Wick on it. And it's this nice, like, uh, gold dust. I don't know what you'd really call this. It's kind of metallic. It's a really neat look to it. That's really cool. So that is a Hank. Here we have an Olight MC. More color, more fun. Oh, an O-Bulb. I've never heard of this. Maybe we'll open this up at the end of the video. Lefty Live, Kevin, local guy, Lefty EDC. If you have not checked out his channel, check his out. Uh, we've gotten together uh, just recently for the knife meetup, hung out a little bit, and yeah, he lives like 25 minutes away from me. So definitely check out Kevin. Little Cookie Monster patch. Uh, Savivi here, we'll save that for the end. We have another Olight product. This is called the Ozino. I think is what that says. Onino. Uh, Amino. That's not an M. That's a really bad M. But the Ole Amino. Huh. This is a... It's okay. It's a uh, charging charging block, like a portable charger. They are magnetic charging ports for the flashlights. So that's neat. And it looks like I'm going to have to buy some Olights. Uh, this I'm gonna have to blur or cut out because this is a uh, this is for me. But <laughs> this is a gift card for Everyday Hanks EDC on Instagram, so that's cool. I will make use of that. And it looks like we got some more stickers. OCD for EDC. I think his name is Justin. I, I haven't watched a whole lot of his channel, but I know he's a good guy. A lot of folks in the community like him. Lions Jewelry and EDC. This is someone I've never heard of, so that's something I'll have to go and check out. And hope you guys do as well. Oh, uh, I didn't know they made Shadow Ranger stickers. This is <laughs> this is great. This is also something to do with Kevin from Lefty EDC, and you can see another one of his stickers here. So that's cool. 
Um, Long Island Knife Guy, Lou, awesome collection. Does lots of really cool raffles on Instagram. If you wanted a chance to pick up something that is a lot harder to get or a custom piece for like 40 bucks, check out his page. He does a lot of raffles on there where you can enter real light or a real low cost. It's another knife there that we'll put to the side. AKB. I don't know what this stands for. This is probably something knife or something something blade works or blades. But I'm not sure whose sticker this is, but it's a neat sticker with the machete and the stump there. Uh, another one of the cards here for Lions Jewelry and EDC. This is just a vinyl decal here of... I don't really know what this is, but it's a neat design. Stick that on a window or call it a car window or something like that. Uh, I will open this up shortly. Another one of those. BCS Army sticker, really neat logo. Don't know the uh, the page or the company, but it's a neat looking, neat looking uh, logo there. Another Lefty Live, Blue Collar Survival. Heard the name before, never seen any of the content. Definitely will have to go and check them out. And then DSK FS, do something kind for someone. This is from Zach Stuff over uh, from across the country. Zach Stuff here on Instagram and he's on Facebook, sorry, YouTube as well. Uh, really great channel, really good guy. So definitely worth checking him out if you never have seen him before. Now let's open this up because I don't know what this is. This has got a, uh, like, I don't know what to call this, whether it's like, it looks like a, like a police badge almost or like a, first responder badge so I wonder if this is I don't know what this is let's see what we got it's Lancelot leather okay cool so we got a Lancelot leather business card uh, you can see his Instagram is Lancelot leather and it's a copper coin with that star looking logo in the middle I don't is, yeah I guess that's his logo so it's a copper coin with his logo and then Lancelot Leather on the back. That's really neat. That's cool. I don't have anything like that. So let's get into the two knives here. We'll start with the one that we can see, this Cold Steel Mini Tough Light. I just got to handle the full-size Tough Light for the first time uh, not that long ago uh, when we had the local knife meet up here. And it was small, so I'm kind of surprised that they make a smaller version. Oh my god, it's tiny. Wow. Wow. Oh, <laughs> it's so tiny. Oh my God. The mini tough light. This is just like box opening galore. This, maybe this will be a dedicated unboxing knife here on the channel. Tip down carry the, uh, extremely necessary on such a small knife. Um, triad lock. This is in OS 8A. Steel made in Taiwan. You can see it's a good little three finger knife. Wrap right into these. These are actually, this and the full size one are extremely comfortable knives to use. And this is probably like an inch and a half of cutting edge. Here, what do we have? We have a two inch blade, five inches overall, but two inches from the handle to the tip. So you can, you can call it what you want. I don't know the exact specs here. That's probably a little over an inch of cutting edge, but really funny. Can't quite flick it with the middle finger, but it flicks right out with the thumb. Very nice. Very, very neat little knife. And lastly, the Civivi pouch here. We have Elementum sticker, Civivi sticker, the little cloth. And the pouch, you know, the standard things that come with a Civivi. And this is the, ooh, okay, I think this is the Lumi. Or the Lumi, uh, Lumi, I think is how you say it. It's this top flipper. It's a Justin Lundquist design. You can see it's got deep carry pocket clip with recessed screws, which is really nice to see. Though the clip isn't fully recessed, which that's an interesting choice. Blade is 
centered, maybe slightly preferring the show side, but no, that, that looks pretty good. Really, really clean design. Let's give this a flip. Oh, nice. It's, uh, it's very spiky. Yeah, you can see the J for Justin Lundquist on the blade there. This one is probably a Nitro V, if I had to guess. I don't see it marked, but maybe when the blade's closed, I can see a marking somewhere. Uh, no, I don't see the blade steel marked on here. But, yeah, nice, very thin blade stock. A uh, little front flipper, top flipper thing. Uh, Justin Lundquist design. I do think this is the Lumi, the Lummy, however you say it. Very spiky little knife. Got some schmutz on the clip here. Some, like, dried resin or something. It should come off. It's a really thin, really thin blade and really thin grind. This probably slices extremely well. It doesn't have a crazy good factory edge on it, but the action, for being a tiny knife, I was going to say, it's really smooth, but it drops shut without the lock bar pressure. Just got to help it close because there's no weight to that blade. I think I like using my thumb across the top better for this than I do using my pointer finger to pull back. Very neat little piece. This is one that uh, I definitely would have never picked up on my own. Same with the mini tough light. Never would have thought on my own to buy one of these. So I'm glad that I finally get the chance to check out some a Civivi offering. I have had like only three or four Civivis I've ever handled. So this is cool to get another one, especially one that's right up my alley with the thin blade stock and thin grind. So yeah, this will get some carry and use. You guys will definitely see a video on this. You might not see a dedicated video about the mini tough light here, but you'll probably see it around on the channel, especially if I make it my unboxing knife. I don't get enough packages to have a dedicated unboxing knife, but you know, it's all for fun, right? And what do these cost? Like 20 bucks? It's not like I'm going to sell it. It might end up being given away or something like that, but you know, I'm, I'm not going to sell giveaway wins either. That's, that's kind of scummy. You know, if you won something real crazy and it's worth a lot of money and you want to sell it, that's different. But to, to take something that a bunch of people donated to a bunch of companies and then sell all their stuff is, yeah, it's, you, you do what you want. It's yours at that point. But I don't know. I find it a little bit, a little bit immoral to do that, but nevertheless, some very, very cool stuff today. I uh, want to thank you guys for watching. This video is definitely on the longer side. Uh, I know Sharpen Blade's going to be seeing this video, so don't worry, buddy. I will be uh, taking good care of this, and I'll make sure it comes to you in good working order when we finally get it shipped up north to you across the border. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Take care.